I don't know. I just don't know what to think of this. I, I, can I not ask him about this pig? Is, is there something, some story I've missed somewhere? A well-dressed dwarf paced, yes, safe home to... He quickly turns away and casts a worried gaze around the room, counting something on his fingers. Uh, note the open trunks and piles of clothes littering the room and ask if he's packing for a trip. You already know how close the danger is. If it all goes to hell, I don't plan on being anywhere near this place. It's a shame all the ceremony and stuff had to be cut short by the attack. Boy, he'd woken. At a wedding. Oh, it's too ghastly to contemplate, and yet it happened right here. My poor darling girl. Now, if you'll pardon me, as I'm sure you can imagine, I have terribly many affairs to tend to. Such chaos to write in the wake of this disaster. Ask about the Void Woken. Whatever could have lured them here. I appreciate your concern, but I'm sure you understand I'm quite overcome at the moment. Be sure to close the doors behind you as you leave. And, if I may, the city's in quite a state, as I'm sure you've noticed. Void woken within and without. Civil war between the powers that be. My advice? Leave arcs for fairer ground. No reason to remain. Bring up the crown-wearing pig. What's that all about? Ah, my darling Lulabelle. Isn't she a beautiful creature? A ray of light during dark times, when even a marriage ceremony can get cut short by tragedy. That doesn't explain it about the Queen. Yes. Uh, ask about Isabel. Who is she? Where did she come from? Hell if I know. <laughs> a terrible answer, but it's all I've got. But it wasn't long after she started hovering around Justinia that things started to change. Justinia's always been hard if you know what I mean, but but never heartless. I don't know what her end game is, but I don't want to be anywhere near when it begins. Hmm. Tell Ross you'll do whatever it takes to talk some sense into Justinia and end her plans. And you know what must be done. And why it must be done quickly. Is there more you need from me? There is, actually. Where? Oh, she said... He said hey, brief. About the Queen. Yes. In the cellar? She's holding court in the sewers, if you can yeah, believe. Okay. And take this key. Oh. You'll know where to use it when the time comes. Oh, he's now giving me a key. Is there more you need from me? Right. Well, that would have been useful before, wouldn't it? When he was speaking to me. Maybe he did give it to me then. That was just a, a sort of a, an after effect of the conversation. What's that say? Oinks and odes, a celebration. Well, just, you know, an everyday sort of thing. A pig with a crown on in someone's bedroom. Can't possibly think what's... Uh... Oh, when she said there was a dwarf out on the balcony, she meant out here, not upstairs. Ah, you. The noble-looking dwarf beckons Ifan closer. Ifan narrows his eyes, but strides over anyhow as the dwarf gestures toward the somber group inside. Hard to believe you're looking at a wedding party, isn't it? My wedding party. He's got the evil voice. He's a bad guy. He looks you over, his mouth pressed into a mirthless smirk. But I suppose you're no stranger to mournful faces. The Silver Fang, isn't that right? <laughs> Butt in and glare at the dwarf witheringly. It's the Silver Claw, actually. The dwarf looks you up and down with a most dubious look in his eye. Clearly finding you lacking in some way, <laughs> he snorts and turns back to Ifan. Like a fanboy. Look, I know you're him. I know you can take care of problems. And I've got just the problem for you. A very lucrative one. I intend to be a particular kind of husband. And I could use someone with your particular talents to help me achieve this. He wants to be a widow, I think. I need you to take care of my father-in-law and bring me his will the dwarf winks in an exaggerated fashion squeezing one eye shut so forcefully it looks like his face just swallowed an eyeball in return ifan raises one eyebrow slowly the man you speak of is not who i am anymore and i'll not become him again for the likes of you i love that voice without another word 
Ifan turns on one heel and strides away, leaving the aggrieved dwarf spluttering in his wake. Right, time to stir some shit. Hey, Mrs. Your new husband told me. She looks right through you. Face. Oi, Ross. Be brief. I can't go and yes. say anything. Oh. Hurry it along. Oh, I I wanted to. Uh, I want to go and kill him now. I really do. Awful day for it, don't you think? The dwarf glances at Ifan, pulls you close, and whispers. The silver claw's blade is clearly dulled. But you, you look like a man of action, a doer of deeds. And I have a matter of some urgency I'd ask you to attend to. My new father in law, Here we go. Mikhail Ross, must die. And you must retrieve his will. I will not prescribe the methods you use, but I shall insist on your discretion. Now, tell me, what payment do you require for this service? Look at him with incredulity. After all that's happened today, he wants to kill his father-in-law. What is your price? Brush away suggestion. You're not going to murder for him. The dwarf's hand flies to his mouth in a none-too-convincing display. M murder I suggested no such thing. Now get out of my sight. What's he selling? I hope you yeah, I'll take those. Because if we end up killing him... Um, oh, tell you what, why don't I... He's got a stack of cash. I could probably get better prices for this garbage, but... Let's take the opportunity. Are these... What are these? Hmm. These are purging ones. I might need the purging ones still. So we keep those. I don't think I... No, I definitely don't need that. Some of this gear I might want. I think I can sell these books now. I might need that one. The warning letter. Get rid of that. Whoa, there's more stuff down here. There has to be. Uh, let's see. I don't know what to do with those alien life essences. Let's get rid of those. Sharp piece of metal. Yeah, my offer's not that great, is it? An old skull. Three bits of sinew. Pile of slime. <laughs> Some live wood logs. Oh, here we go. Paintings. Da, 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 da. Yes, this is where we cash in. God, it's going to be a, a relief on my back to get this stuff off my shoulders. Still not building up that much. I don't know if the merchants in town will give me a better deal. I don't really care. It's a good opportunity to get rid anyway. That one... Do you know what? I'm going to sell that because I've, I've carted that around for like ever. Okay. I think that was pretty good. We'll, we'll take that. Except... Who else has got some rubbish to sell? Uh, Beast does. Of course he does. An engraved jewel. Wait, that's not... Um... Perhaps it has another purpose. Do you know what? I don't want to sell that all of a sudden. It looked like something different. Some Something special. Uh, okay, let's, let's cash those in. Just check. Giant diamonds, clouded diamonds, an egg. A couple of ripped off faces, which I don't think I need anymore. Uh, rabbit's paw, some of that. A combat dagger. It's amazing the crap you build up when you're out looting every day. Teeth, fangs. <laughs> and loads of these power cores, phase capacitors. Right. Thank you very much. When I kill him... Which we might. And stop wasting my damn time. Can I not go and talk to someone about this? She looks right through you. Face there. slack with grief. Lean in and whisper that her husband plans to kill her father. She stares at you in horror. You think you see that strange pink tint in her <laughs> eyes fade a little. Can you imagine doing that to a bride on a wedding day? <laughs> a stranger just coming up. What? No, no, that's not true. 
That's impossible. Right, we don't mess about. I can do intelligence persuasion hero. You're trying to help her and her father. You have no reason to lie. I I want that. I have so little intelligence. That sounds like such a good thing, but I'm going to go with the strength because it's more likely to work. If you don't listen to me, your father is as good as dead. Her eye twitches and her mouth moves silently, but aggressively. It almost looks as if she's having an argument with herself. When she looks up at you again, the pink tint has cleared completely from her eyes. How could he? How could he? I have to go. I must speak to my father. Yes, and I will come with you. Daddy, I think my husband's trying to kill you. That little creep. We won't get away with it. He's not surprised. Oi, oi, talk. You here to do Dorian's dirty work? Figured it wouldn't be long before you showed up. Uh, confirm his suspicion. Dorian's offered you quite a sum to do the deed. I tell you what, you seem an honourable sort. See Dorian dead and I will meet his offer. And there's no reason not just to kill him now if he's only going to match Dorian's offer. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, I want to go and kill Dorian, actually, but I want to see what this is all about. Nod, it will be done. Be quick about it. I do not have... Where's the way down? I wanted to kill him anyway. Will this just get me... This might be get me into a load of trouble. Wait, where the hell did that Dorian... As his wife tipped him off. He'll turn up, won't he? I was hired to guard a like a bad smell. He will turn up. Do we go and wander around outside? Do we have a little look in here? Is there another room I can play with? There's some protectors out there. Is this just down to the... This looks like the marketplace. Let's go out the front door and see. See what's happened. Who's this? Trader Glass. Can't reach. I was hired to guard a oh, wedding. it's locked. All right. Nobody said anything about Wait, hang on. He did give me a key. It's not for that one, though. Okay, I've obviously come in a, a different way to what the game intended me to. We can get out this way, though. I'm going to save it after all that. Something oh my god. This is where the slaughter was. So much death on such a lovely day. The Holy Book of Matrimony. Collection of what seems to be template wedding vows. Some mention love, but quite a few read like legal contracts. Flipping through, you find one with two whole paragraphs on inheritance rights. It's circled in red ink. Uh, I might take that in case it's evidence. Hmm. Oh, should I go and eat all the food? Roasted pork cheese. Look at that pizza. A letter. D. Court is convened. D would be Dorian, right? The sewers are hardly an ideal location, but there's more than enough space here to conduct my research. Uh, Jay remains blissfully ignorant, convinced that our plan is in actuality hers. She may not be weak of body, but she's certainly weak of will. You can reach us through the cellars using the key I gave you. And remember, when selecting a wine, choose the one that shares its name with a pig. It pairs well with success, I hear. I. Isbail. D. Dorian. J. Justinia? A sewer's key. Oh, I'll have that. And I'm going to take an onion because... Why not? Oh, right, okay. Well, that was that was kind of lucky just coming down there then. I mean, he already gave us a key, so... We might not have needed that. But the letter will be useful. Um, I'm off down the sewer. I'm lucky I was posted indoors. That I'll be drawing breath. There it is. 
Wait a minute, let me just go and see if I can talk to the old giffer about uh, this letter. Is it done? Dorian's disappeared. You know where you might find him. He's probably run off to that house of his. Over by the barracks. Okay, and his garden. Awful. Just awful. I spent a fortune on the decor alone. The boy's woken have made quite a mess of the place. Aren't you more concerned about your dead guests? Well, yes, of course. I'm not unsympathetic, you know. But I don't have time for teary eyes and sniffles. So, if you please, I'm sure you have your own burdens to bear. Ross taps his... Right, okay. We do want to go and get the Queen. Oh, man, I've got so many little irons in the fire. Oh, there's the girl. I thought she'd been kidnapped. No? Oh, no, this is Auntie Flan. The woman cries on. I hadn't spoke to her initially, had I? All right, so... Uh, is there an easy way to get down there? No, it's as if I wasn't supposed to come in this way at all. Can I get out? Oh, I might be able to get out this way. And we'll go back down the cellars, but I'm going to go and check out this house first. Any more dead dwarfs? What's this over here? This is worth a little look. What is that? Something in there. Beast, get to work. I hear a snarling from somewhere. Oh, right, okay. It brings me back out here. Right. Well, in that case, then. Clear off. Need to keep the way clear. You planning a quick getaway? Ain't no getaway happening here. And if there is, I am involved. Get it? Tell the wolf you get it. Good. Now clear off. You're in the way. Uh, who's in a hurry to leave? Ain't no one going nowhere, as far as you're concerned. Now clear off. You're in the way. Interesting. Whose house is this? Is it going to show us? Let's, let's just zoom out a bit. Dorian Gall's place. It could be something to do with him. Merchant cellar, Michael Ross's estate, the Magister Barracks, the Ark's prison, Barracks storeroom. Yeah, that is that is um, not to be messed with down there. And then, of course, Cathy Appraiser and Kem's mansion. Oh my God, there's so much to do here. There's a cathedral and the Lizard Consulate. Why do we need to go to the Lizard Consulate? I do know for certain that I've got some horrible dealings to go and do in the harbour. Uh, we are just there, though, so... Let's go and check out this uh, mysterious house. A mysterious trader in cheese. That is not the usual garb of a cheese trader. I've been into quite a few cheese shops and I've never seen someone dressed quite like that stood behind the counter. Well, hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels and rounds and blocks and rolls and possibly more, but my wares are nuanced. With undertones of something rare. <laughs> Bloody bet. What do you have in mind? She looks you up and down. Then... What's on my mind? Hmm. Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Power cheese. Am I right? Deny it. You're just another citizen who fancies some cheese. Well, I may have misjudged you. But I can help you. I can fulfill your cheesy desires. Let's have a look. The pleasure is mine. And I, you bet I didn't buy as much cheese as a result. You're dead right. She does, in fact, sell cheese. Hmm. A mysterious cheese trader. Who's this house, then? The lawmaster's house. Is he at home? So many books and such little time. Greetings. I am Cranley Hubert. I assume no further introduction is required. 
He's the guy who writes the encyclopedia. Well, for all I've says I've never heard of him, I have been picking his damn encyclopedias up for the last 100 hours. Oh, come now. Surely you heard of my writing or my work with the historical guild of arcs? No. Yeah, uh, ask if you've actually read all these books or if they're just for show. For show? Of course I've read all of them. What do you take me for? I'll wager you don't know a fraction of what I've gleaned from a lifetime of reading. Let's see. Three major houses govern the ancient empire. There's the House of Law, the House of War. Now, what's the third? Um. Well, it doesn't rhyme. Uh, I've not actually read the encyclopedias, so. Uh, law, War, and Pleasure? Trade? I'm going to go knowledge, because I'm going to assume he would he would belong to the house of knowledge. So I'm going to go answer with the house of knowledge. No, no, no. I'm afraid that my reservoir of knowledge remains the deepest. Now, perhaps you'd like to return outside and consort with those who have intellectual stamina more on par with your own. Yes? Okay. If I have to go and pick up all those damn things and read every sodding book to find that out this will be a quest that remains undone still let's go and have a look in his uh I've spotted something, I've spotted something. Do you know what i wasn't paying any attention to that as a loose floorboard lawmaster safe key he's very trusting letting me in here isn't he i wouldn't let me in here knowing how i i work I just pinched that. I assumed the safe would be behind the painting. Well, the, I can't move that. Might be behind that one. That one is locked. Hmm, I do feel like we're probably likely to... To think that some people value baubles and trinkets over books. It's supposed to come in the back entrance and cause some damage. Uh, where's it likely to be, then, this safe? Is it right in front of him? I'd have to keep him... Could it be this? Could this be classed as his safe? No. Uh, hmm. Hmm. The creation. No, he doesn't like me reading his books. Okay. I could buy them all. The Chaos War. Salamanders. Is there anything about the three houses? What's that leaning up against? That, that one there. I don't see a safe. We'll come back to this. We will figure this out. I don't see anything lurking hidden. I don't think I can move that, can I? We'll come back to that. We've got it on the thing there's the lawmaster's house. We have a job to do anyway. Who have we got? Builders, citizens. There's a door there. Sanguinia Tell. I like the way I can see inside. Uh, at the risk of getting distracted, <laughs> I'll have a little look inside here. It appears to be open. There's always so much to do in all the locations of this game. Well, she's just sat in a chair. Can I go talk to her? Trade or credit? That's right. The proprietress gives you a sweet smile. You look like someone who's ready for business. You look like someone with an eye for the main chance. You look like someone who needs 
An investor? What do you have in mind? I knew it the moment you walked in here. Here comes an enterprising fella, I said to myself. Here comes a man who could take a sum of gold and turn a tidy profit. I can see it in your eyes. Whatever you're up to in the fine upstanding city of Arx, jewel of Lucian's blessed domain, I'd like to back you, financially speaking. But be There's warned, a cat. I demand security. You must make a deposit, and I always, always, always recover a debt. I think she might be a demon. You understand, I'm sure. I'll take my leave. I bid you good day. She smiles, her sweet smile, dips her head in farewell and turns away. Hmm, there is something wrong with half the population of this damn place. Let's leave that then. Oh, there's a door. I can go in this way. <laughs> Who's the cat? Just a grey cat. Weirdos in the cellar chase me away. You believe that? I don't. And I tried my best purring and my best meowing. I even did the slink thing against their legs. So, weirdos in the cellar, eh? Hmm, that would be out into their courtyard. Who is this? A lizard citizen. Okay, we don't have to worry about them. Right, let me go back to the plot. There's the, uh, I've, got, I've got to get back to this. No, I'm not going to make a deposit in that lady because... <laughs> Would you? Looking at the state of her. I'm sure there's... Uh, I'm sure there's uh, more suitable prospects around town. Look at the stink and mess out here. Do we have... Oh, there's a door here. Hang on, we'll use the side door. Oh, look at the mess in there. All right, this place is a tip. Can't reach. You mean I can't reach? I'm... Oh, hang on, there's this... From the tale of the mad dwarfs, the old lady's house. It's locked, beast. Oh, wow, there's so much stuff to steal. Let's start with a healing potion. The hell does this do? All right, okay, we can uh, craft stuff. I've spotted something. A giant healing potion. Am I in the right place here? So when he said, I have spotted something. Huge air resistance potion, I love that. What's he spotted? Because I don't, I don't see anything. Can you see what went off? It'll be something just, uh, it could be something on a wall. It could be something on a wall. What the hell am I looking for? Looking for any buttons and switch. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go and open this. Hey, young Zad. How's it going? What have we got in here? Just potion bottles. Oh, I thought they were going to be something good. I cannot see what my character said I have spotted. And that is really annoying. Move that. Huge healing potion. I'll have that one. I, I, oh, hang on, what's that? No, that's the true brew thing. Uh, I would expect a, sw a switch or something. A button that I've missed on a wall. Oh, wait, hang on. What's this? Key to the back room in the alchemist's house. Maybe it was that. 
Do you know what? These these potions, I should spread these out a bit. I think. Fane's got some. Beast's got some. Um, uh, split. And split again. 